Hello agents and welcome back to Aurora. I'm Director V and I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on what's going to be happening here. So basically, I went ahead and recorded these three videos before I kind of initially started my YouTube channel. And so you can definitely tell I'm a little out of practice and while I'm still not as, I guess, I still don't have that flow that I used to have, but um, I definitely have gotten better over the last few videos that I've recorded than when I began. So keep in mind, when you're watching these videos, these are the very beginning of the recorded videos that I have. I even say that I think in the beginning one. So please show me some grace, please. My name is Grace, so whatever. Um, so I do have mics now. I do have a different mic system than I than I did then, which was no mic. That was my system, was no mic. Um, camera mic. Um, that didn't really work out. You can kind of hear the difference um, in how my computer starts to sound like a jet engine starting to take off. And that's especially when I happen to be playing the trailers because that requires extra processing. So it sounds really loud. So the first two videos, I don't have a mic, um, so please bear with me because I don't have the best of sound. I fixed the problem, right, but not during that because that was the beginning, that was the very beginning. The last video I have, um, that was a, that was one with a mic. And I was still trying to figure out how to figure out the best way to use those mics, and I still am, but um, I've gotten a better idea of how to, how to do that. So even in that, please bear in mind that I'm, I'm figuring things out, um, I'm learning as I'm going. So basically the trailers are the Acolyte trailer, then we had the Tales of the Empire trailer that was a surprise, and then we have the Outlaws video game trailer that I wanted to talk about. Um, and so I had recorded them and I had gone back and forth on whether or not I wanted to release them and I decided, you know what, screw it, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it because I, I recorded it, might as well. Um, and have fun, talk about it. So, um, I need no other reason than that, apparently. Um, so, I do also want to give a warning that in the second video, I have to be honest, I almost scrapped the whole thing. There, there is a strap that is out of place on my shoulder, and you can see it. And I almost scrapped the whole video just because I didn't see it until after the fact because I didn't have a screen that I could see myself in the camera. So I had no clue the whole time. And I didn't want to like try to fake a reaction to it because that just doesn't feel right to me. So I'm I went with it and it felt really stupid for there to be such a trivial reason as to scrap footage because I had a strap out of place. So if it bothers you when you're watching it, just know that it bothers me like ten times more. Okay? Like, I'm, I'm staring at it as I'm editing, and it frustrates the living daylights out of me. Pay no attention to it. I know it's there. It's annoying me. But I felt like it would be stupid of me to get rid of something over something so trivial. So, yes, I'm aware. I hate it. And honestly, maybe you wouldn't have commented anything. Maybe you wouldn't have. Maybe I just drew attention to it. No, it's it's blatantly obvious. Like, there's no way that I'm, I'm gonna get a, away with that because it's blatantly obvious. Again, this is my learning curve, okay? So, <laughs> please, please understand where some of this is coming from. Um, and so, also, I do have to say that um, I realize that as I'm editing this, that I say a lot, that I don't really know what's going on. That's a phrase that I feel like I say a lot. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is going to be about. I don't know. Which is true. I don't know. I, like, I haven't gained superior superior knowledge over all that but like at the time I was recording that and again this is the beginning and I felt like it was important to include that because I don't know everything about Star Wars yet and here's the thing that's the best part because I get to discover it as time goes on and so I know there's probably people that are gatekeepers out there and say that I'm not a real fan Whatever. I am on the journey of discovering what everything is all about, and there is extensive knowledge that I will never probably know everything, which is honestly the most appealing part ever, because I get to figure it out. I get to learn. I get to figure out the different names of creatures and stuff like that. I get to figure out the timelines. I get to know 
the old republic versus the the high republic and stuff and figure all those things out because i i i'm a relatively new fan and that's kind of the best position to be in um because i get to experience a lot of this stuff for the first time ever and so as i go forth and i do watch things like that's just the most exciting thing to me is that feeling of the first time of watching stuff because once you watch something for the first time you can never get that back and so i'm in that point of my life where I'm watching a lot of this stuff for the first time and so um, while I say I don't know what's going on I'm right I'm right but that isn't me just trying to be like ignorant and just because like I, I'm not looking into it a lot of it is I'm trying to carefully figure out the best order in which to find stuff out if that makes sense so with that in mind <laughs> please understand that I might have missed some stuff I'm new. I don't think I've reacted to any sort of Star Wars content before. And to be honest, it's kind of scared me. Um, just because it is so vast. And it is... But it's, that's incredible. And I love that. And, um... But it is daunting at the same time, if that makes sense. And so, um... Be gracious, please. Because this is... This is really fun. And I'm enjoying every bit of it. And I freaking love Star Wars. And I love how immersive it is. I loved that about Marvel, that was my first love, and I saw just how fun it seemed like the people over in Star Wars areas of the internet were having, and I realized I see the appeal. Like, there, it's a completely different world, and it's, it's fun, it's, it's amazing. So I just, this is a quick little Star Wars appreciation note that I was going to give at the end of all that, but that's basically all I had to say, and we're going to get into all the trailers now. Um, so first up is going to be the Acolyte, like I said, and it's going to be the Tales of the Empire, and then it's going to be the, the Outlaws video game trailer. So, um, stay tuned. You don't have to watch all three of them. That's totally fine. If there's one that you want to watch, then just go to that point. I will probably have the timestamps in the, in the description, so let me know. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the first one, alright? Welcome back, agents, to Aurora. I'm Director V, or Grace, since we're not formal around here. And if you are new here, welcome recruits. I'm so happy to have you here with us all today. This is where the fun begins. And this is Aurora. It's an initiative that I designed so that we could have a space to have some positive energy amongst fans because I wanted to spread some positivity when it just seems like we can't have nice things. And so this is kind of just a place to block out the haters and enjoy the view and engage in optimistic rhetoric as we just like, just have some fun. Appreciate what fandom has to offer. And then when you are ready to join our ranks and become an agent, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Let's get into today's video, which I'm very excited to say is the Acolyte trailer. I actually haven't recorded a video in a very long time. This is the very first one, and so I'm very excited. I wanted to get started and have a set date that I was going to have everything ready by to upload so that I have a backlog of stuff. So I was able to resist temptation to watch this video, and now I'm watching it, but it has been a couple weeks since it's come out. Granted, it was going to be late anyway because I was planning on posting everything later at a different date, but it seems like a good day to post it today so i've resisted temptation to watch it it was very hard let me tell you because i'm very excited to see what becomes of this i don't know much about the high republic era and i haven't read the books but that will change okay i do know that this comes towards the end of the high republic era i believe oh my gosh what if i'm wrong i believe that it comes towards the end of the high republic era i'm still learning but i believe i heard there was chatter that there was a character from the books don't know who she is i just know that she is a she because i think i saw a photo of her but i don't remember who um i don't know really what becomes of her or anything and i don't know if this will then kind of spoil the books that's my only concern i guess you could say is because if everything ends up I don't know. I don't. I don't know how far apart the books are from the show towards the end of the High Republic. I'll find out once I read the books. But as of right now, I'm kind of going in a little bit blind. So I also have seen a little bit of discourse around the whole idea that there is Sith. I think maybe multiple Sith. I'm not entirely sure, but I just know that there is a Sith at least, or like the idea of Sith that's present in this trailer, and that there's been issue with the fact that we got Mace Windu and other council members saying that the Sith 
are no more, but obviously they're kind of biased in their beliefs so that they're kind of an unreliable narrator anyway based on like, what they think and so I don't know, I don't think it's that controversial in my opinion. Obviously people are free to have discussions, but I don't really understand the idea of why it was as problematic as it seemed to be initially. I kind of try to stay away from all that conversation though, so I don't know if that was resolved or if that was- if that's still an ongoing discussion. I don't know because I have tried to stay away until now. So we're gonna get into it. We're gonna watch the video right now. Close your eyes. Your eyes- Not the younglings. Can deceive you. We must not trust them. I love just the Tell styles me of what like, comes into your mind. I was gonna talk, but I kinda like to see this. I need to focus. Life balance. I see fire. Intriguing. What do you mean by that? Someone is killing There's so Jedi. much going on in the It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed the darkness. <laughs> oh, I forgot he was going to be in this. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power, oh, and who great. is allowed to use it? What is that? Guys, I literally got chills. Okay. Two episode premiere. Four. Oh. Okay, that was, that was a nice little flourish at the end. I liked that. I will say, I don't know a whole lot about what is going on in this so that's a little neat but it's definitely intriguing some of my favorite stuff is about like the jedi and in their prime i've learned so much of recently even just about them and all the things that they created and stuff like that before they went and became all political that's super fun but you know just like even the different fighting forms that they had you know that was something that I learned recently. I didn't really know how deep all that war went, um, and I kind of like knowing that, you know, and, and that's something that I'm very much so looking forward to in this series, and also when I do eventually read The High Republic. I like the Jedi a lot, and the fall of the Jedi is really sad, so I'm very happy that we are getting more of them before that, and this looks like a lot of fun. It's been a very long time since we've seen a large amount of lightsabers. What colors did they have? I just want to see. Okay, so a lot of blue, green, well, not a lot of blue, but blue, green, of course, and yellow. Of course, there was that red one, which was sick. I legit had chills from the beginning. Cute little guy right there. Oh, there was a Wookiee. I forgot about that. I don't know his name. I wish I did. I'm pretty sure that was the person who's from the books. I'm not entirely sure. Manny Jacinto, love him. She looks great. I don't know who she is, but I love her aura. So I wonder how many Sith there are. You know, they say no more than two, no less. But obviously, again, that comes from a biased standpoint where the Jedi were blinded um, and didn't know what was going on. So that's going to be real interesting to dive into and to watch. I can't wait. Although June is going to be very, very busy. Um, oh an interesting... I just got really distracted by some of these comments. I don't understand why this is getting such a negative reception reading this. Um, I didn't have an issue with it, so I would like to keep this positive as possible. I thought it looked great. I thought it looked like a lot of fun. I don't really understand the reception because it wasn't really a lot of people saying what they had issues with in the comment section. It was just a lot of people using that close your eyes, what do you see meme, which I mean, cool. So, um, 
I thought it looked like a lot of fun and I would like to enjoy it. So I would like to not look too deep into that, I suppose. Um, because honestly, this is a very interesting era of Star Wars and it's something we've never seen before and I would really like to enjoy it for what it is as it is. So I don't want to be swayed or biased by any person's opinion. So that'll be interesting. I wonder how the discourse is going to be once it comes out. I don't know. That kind of threw me for a loop a little bit there. I, I don't really know what to say about that. I guess for now, you let me know what you are excited for for this show. Are you excited? If you aren't, that's fine. You can explain that as gently as possible, please. Um, but I would like to mainly have it be about why are you excited? Are you excited? What are you excited for? Me personally, I'm excited to see huge lightsaber battles again and Jedi in the prime of their force abilities. That's going to be really great to see before the fall of the Jedi, of course. So that's going to be really nice for me. And I honestly can't wait. Again, it threw me for a loop there for a second. I don't know. Huh. Well, you know what? That's fine. I'm just going to go into this as positive as possible because that's my goal from here on out. And I don't want fandom to ruin things for me. So. That is, again, kind of what Aurora is for. This is kind of like exactly what my idea was, was to spread positivity when it seems like there's not a lot out there. And this is why we can't have nice things anymore. Anyway, that's just my opinion. So I think it's going to be it for today's video. Again, this is like the first video I've recorded since pff, eons ago, it feels like at this point. It's good to be back. And I can't wait to engage with you guys a little bit more and see what you guys think. So. What are we doing here today? We are reacting to the trailer for the series, I guess, Tales of the Empire. I didn't know this was coming out. Um, this is obviously gonna be kind of like Tales of the Jedi. I actually haven't seen Tales of the Jedi yet. I've been waiting to watch that. I don't know why. I think I was waiting until after Ahsoka or something, which obviously Ahsoka's over with, but from the thumbnail, it looks like the character I want to say from the Clone Wars Barris. I don't know her name, actually. I feel like I've only seen her in like one episode from where I'm at. I am going to restart the Clone Wars series because I don't remember much of it. Um, I kind of started watching it and then fell out of it. And now I'm going to go in with the actual official timeline. So this is going to kind of be, this is going to be interesting in the way that I watch it. But I'm going to probably upload those reactions to YouTube at some point. So if I, I know a couple spoilers from that series and I know that Ahsoka was kicked out of the Jedi Order. I don't know why or how or what the reason was, but I feel like I've seen internet chatter that Barris has something to do with it. That's all I got. Obviously, I am in honor of Ahsoka because I rally behind her. Honestly, wouldn't it just be freaking hilarious if I was so wrong? It's not the character I'm thinking of at all. That's not even related to Ahsoka at all. And that I'm literally just basing this off of a hunch and uh, spoilers that I've been trying to avoid but might have seen but then also might just be very wrong on. I don't know. So, you know what? <laughs> Ignore the fit if it has nothing to do with this series. I try to like match it up. Um, let's begin. Why do you seek Imperial favor? Okay, I feel like- Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. Oh, my that... anger gives me strength. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. Right, wrong. Mayforth, of course. They have to do Mayforth. I'm here to present you with an opportunity, Paris. Okay. Hey, I got that right. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. My best for our staff. Wouldn't it be a shame if you got that taken from you? Huh? Mercy only breeds defeat. All right. But I will help you overcome this weakness. I didn't know the Grand Inquisitor Attack. is involved with Barris in her training. You said the Again. Empire would help to no change idea. things. Everything comes at a cost. Interesting. My war 
Test and Good to see you, buddy. Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Bye, now, you must face one final test to join us. It is time you meet your new master. Long live the Empire. Okay, that actually looks really good. It looks like there's going to be a lot of stuff to fill in some some stuff here that we've seen before. Oh my bad. Have we not seen Morgan Elspeth before? Because obviously we saw her in The Mandalorian first um, when she was on that one planet where Mando went to find Ahsoka. I don't know, has she been in Rebels or has she been in the Clone Wars? I haven't seen those animated series so I've got no clue. Or is this the first time we're seeing her animated? I mean, if it is, that's super cool, super exciting. And then I'm very interested to see how she got to be where she's at and Obviously, how she gets that best car spear. It's a shame, it's a cool spear. Like, you lost that sucker. Well, I mean, you kind of lost it fair and square, sort of. I mean, it didn't. Anyway, you know what? I'm going on a long tirade that has nothing to do with it. But I was right, it was Barris. That's her name, anyway. And like I said, I'm pretty sure she's the person who frames Ahsoka. I don't know what she did to frame Ahsoka. But I know that there was some sort of trial. So I know that there was something that she pra framed her for. So, I feel like, is this gonna spoil the Clone Wars though? Or like, am I gonna wanna wait to actually watch this before I see the Clone Wars series? Because that's, that's my problem, is that's why I waited to watch the Tales of the Jedi. It's because I was afraid it would spoil stuff, but now I'm thinking that this might. I mean, not the Elsbeth stuff, I feel like I've seen everything, you know, I think that she's been involved in. This is gonna be interesting, I'm very excited. So yeah, I mean, looking forward to it. Let me know if you guys think it'll spoil it for me. Should I wait to watch it or should I watch it when it comes out? Or should I go ahead and watch Tales of the Jedi? Will that spoil stuff for me? Because again, I was waiting. But very intrigued, very intrigued. It's got me hyped. I'm not like one of those people that's super long lived the Empire or whatever, but this was kind of sick. Seeing Darth Vader walk in at the end, like, it's like you just know that's him just by like the first couple steps his imposing presence is just immediately felt and i love that every single time so can't wait to see him oh annie um well that's all i got i think for today so let me know what you guys think of this trailer actually i kind of want to just give a little look see like what do other people think of well it seems like people like it yeah yep I must say though, I used to think that the animation of the Star Wars stuff looked really kind of, forgive me, ugly, uncanny, although I have, don't have much room to talk because I used to watch Miraculous. But I will say this looked really good. It looks like they're definitely improving upon like everything. Just the detail, the movements, the, it just, it feels way more natural now than I feel like it used to. So that's really cool to see, but yeah. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this? Do you think it'll spoil stuff for me? Should I wait? I'm curious for your thoughts, so please let me know in the comment section down below. And today, I'm going to be watching the Star Wars Outlaws official story trailer. Um, just real quick before we get into it, I have to say, I'm not really a huge gamer, but I have started playing games. So, take that as you will. I have played Jedi Fallen Order. I have yet to play Jedi Survivor, but that'll be coming soon, soon, um, at some point. Um, and so I really liked that game and I'm very excited to play this one. And so I wanted to give this a look because I, I wanted to see what it's about because maybe I'll be playing it in the future, in the near future. Um, however, like this isn't the same people that made the last one. I believe the last one is Respawn. This one is Ubisoft. Which, I hear that they don't have the best rep, um, so we'll see how that is. I'm just here to look to see if it looks fun. It's the story trailer, you know? So we'll see how this goes. I don't really know much about it going into it other than that. So, let's just begin. 
Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Okay. Pikes. Oh. Crimson Dawn. Huts. Oh, not the huts. It's a golden on. age for the underworld. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy. Okay. But they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. Okay. It's an opportunity to make millions. Sign me up. Kay Vess, the underworld's favorite new scoundrel. We meet at last. Is that, what do you was want? that tattooing? Zarek Besh. They're new, rich, and lethal. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Not Slero. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. Not Han Solo. I'm in. Okay, I mean, out here you live you and want. die by your reputation. You want to survive? Oh, she's cool. the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Jabba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the. Oh, okay, we're skipping that part. For about as long as I can remember, it's just been me and Nyx. I want one. Doing what we have to to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. That's so cute. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew. Okay, we got a crew. And the right ship. Hunters in the outer rim. Okay. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. What's she mixed up in? Something the outer Imperial? Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. But all I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Hold on, dude! That's not smart. Oh. Star Wars Outlaws pre Is that the crate dragon? That looks that looks fun. I mean, okay, I don't really know what it's gonna be. It said something about how it's the first ever open world Star Wars game. Um it is set between the events of the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. That makes sense because we did see Han Solo there. Yikes. That was that was bad. K Bess. She seems cool. I like her. Um Nick's the little creature. What species is that? I don't think I've seen that before. I kinda love it. I feel like it almost rivals the boggling. Excuse me, that was stupid. That went down wrong. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think it like rivals the boggling because it's it was really cute. Nyx is cute. Um it looks fun. I don't really know what to expect with it, but I probably will play it and give it a shot. Um, I'm pretty sure in the beginning, was that Kira? Which, if that was Kira, then that's awkward with the whole Han Solo being there too. Reunion! <laughs> you sing somebody else, lady. I just want to give it a little once over, as per usual, as I do. I'm. I honestly feel like I am more expressive at nighttime, and so this is fun. Because y'all always see me like during the daytime, I feel like. Yeah, Pikes. Um, oh, stop it. I'm pretty sure that's her. Are we getting Amelia Clark to come back as her? That'd be kind of nice. She looks good. So, Hud's Crimson Dawn. Quite literally, some of the biggest syndicates out there. So, it makes sense. The Empire is busy. They are trying to quell the rebellion. What's a few stolen goods and drugs and credits and stuff? I think it's a win. Let's go. Let's get some money. Millions? Don't tell me twice. She looks cool, and I kind of like that tattoo. 
Savage. Oh, wait, I, I wanted to see if that was... That looks like that might have been... Is that Tatooine? I feel like... Are we on Tatooine? It seems like that was the bar that Han Solo was at. I could be wrong. More often than not, I feel like I am. I mean, that room is pretty sick. I want my living room to look like that. No, I've made my decision. Poor guy. It's like a giraffe cow. A giraffe cow? With a hint of alligator. Just a hint. But it looks scaly, so some sort of... Well, uh, that's where the alligator comes in. Duh. Not the pikes. I hate Jabba the Hutt. I do. I hate him. Just 100% I do. Every single time he comes on screen. I watched the Clone Wars movie the other night to react to it. And I... I hate him. Every time he popped on screen, I wanted to claw my eyes out. <laughs> Nyx is so cute. Yeah, so I said that she was tangled up in some pretty deep stuff. I'm assuming it has something to do with the Empire because she said something about fighting for freedom, if I recall. That looks like fun. Oh my gosh. And so I think that's a Sarlacc, right? That's a Sarlacc pit. But, but I think that's a crate Dragon. I think they're two different things. I think I was mixed up before. Because it was all happening so fast and I was trying to absorb it all. Yeah. Imagine that coming straight at you. Oof. Mando is better than me. Well, same with K Vess. She's better than me. So. Are you intrigued? Do you want to play now? you want to hear the official story of the game? What did you guys think about the trailer? I mean, I'm, I'm down with it. It looks it looks interesting, it looks intriguing, and I'm excited to get to know some new characters. I just want to I just want to see Nyx more. Like a fuzzy axolotl, and I freaking love that concept. Whoever did that, thank you. I owe you a lot. Yeah, looks like fun. I'm down. I'm down. I'll probably play that. You know what? I might stream that someday. So, you know, if I do, it's on here first, folks. So, I am getting tired. So, I gotta, I gotta go. Um, this has been my reaction to the Star Wars Outlaws official story trailer. I liked it. Okay, so what did you guys think? I know, um... I know that it's a little bit choppy because everything is so different. I've been changing things behind the scenes over the course of recording these three videos, so please forgive that. But like I said, I am learning and growing, and you can kind of see the improvement. I can get to I get to see the improvement that I've made over just in the last like month or so, and that's kind of actually really exciting for me. Um, I feel like I'm definitely more comfortable than I was in the beginning, um, so that's that's kind of neat. So. <laughs> It's weird because I promise that I have future things that aren't trailers. I Everything that I put out this far on this channel is basically trailers, and I, that will change. I do have future projects in the works. Um, they're just taking longer than expected. There have been a couple things that have popped up in my life that I'm trying to deal with at the current moment, and just taking a lot of my <laughs> focus and attention. I do also want to say that those projects will be coming out soon and I'll let you guys know what they are when, when they do happen. One of them, just for instance, is um, just a book review slash commentary over the book The Living Force, the new one that came out recently. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure when it's going to be coming out. Um, it's taking a minute to, to make that video. <laughs> it's definitely a long one. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to tackle book reviews slash commentary videos. Um, and so we'll see how this one goes and then I might do that for other ones or I might figure out a different formula and how I plan on doing that. So be on the lookout for that. I am also streaming this Wednesday. This last Wednesday I streamed for the first time. Super exciting and I had a lot of fun. So if you want to join me for the next stream and the subsequent streams, by all means, follow me over on Twitch. Or you can stay over here on YouTube. I have figured out a way to um, simulcast so I will probably continue to do that where I will stream to both. So. You don't have to go over to Twitch, but if you want to, by all means, I do see that on my screen ahead of time, so I feel like it's easier to communicate with people on Twitch, so if you'd rather do that, that's totally up to you. I do have Instagram. It is my personal Instagram that I use to post whenever I want. I also have Twitter, and that's kind of what I'm going to be using to kind of talk to you about what I will be posting when. That'll probably also be on the 
um, community tab on YouTube, but Twitter will be a good place for that. So you can follow me over there on Twitter. Um, so yeah, follow me on those if you want to. You don't have to, um, but I just I want to you know get to know you, talk to you guys, and have a lot of fun because that's what this place is all about is just having fun and building a community. So um, I appreciate you guys being here and watching and sticking through to the end. If you have, um, you have been amazing, and I can't believe that we are at almost we are so close to a thousand right now. And I just I sometimes I can't believe that almost a thousand people have actually clicked the button to say, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna follow this person. Um, that's mind-boggling to me. So thank you, thank you so much. It's crazy. Um, but you're not crazy. I'm crazy, which is why it's so unbelievable. Um, but no, I appreciate you all. And um, just, yeah, stick around. I have more stuff coming in the future. I swear, it's not all going to be trailers, okay? Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, no mission assignment. This has just been kind of like an appreciation thing. Um, today is May the 4th for me. So to anybody who's watching, may the 4th be with you always. And... That's going to be it for me. This has been Director V, over and out.